Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember clotheslines, <laughs> but when I was a kid, we had clotheslines, and not only were they used for hanging clothes, they were used for attaching dog leashes to dog collars. Don't write me if you're an animal rights lover. Don't write me, okay? It worked. We had a dog that chased cars. And my dad says, I don't teach that dog not to chase cars. I thought, how's he gonna do that? Dog's dumb, he's chased cars all his life. And my dad said, watch. And he got a long leash and he snapped it on the clothesline and snapped it on the collar. And the car came running by and the dog, <laughs> it's amazing how that taught that dog not to chase cars. It was remarkable. Just suddenly came to a halt when he reached the end of his leash. Happened to me when I was 13. It's my birthday, and I was laying in there on my own bed. My brother was gone. I was there alone. I was hanging out. It's my birthday. Remember that? Big deal. My dad, right outside, right by the fig tree, there in East Houston, 7147 Quint Street. I can remember it like yesterday because I went blind after he beat the snot out of me, but right now I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm watching my dad weed the flower beds, and he looks up, and he sees me looking out the screen window, and he says, Charles, come out here and help me weed the flower bed. I says, no, nope, not today. It's my birthday. It's the last thing I remember. <laughs> my dad set a new Olympic record for the 20-meter dash. He was on me like white on rice, and I was 13 <laughs> years old, running all, all, all over. I going out there, and I, and I picked... I, I, I got every weed that had ever grown on Quint Street for the next two, three hours. Didn't even bother, didn't even dawn on me to look up. What happened? I reached the end of my daddy's leash. By the way, no extra charge. Remember this with your children. They're like you, so they will blow it because they're young. They will fail, they will disappoint you, they may even hurt you, but when they repent, when they come and seek your forgiveness, it's done. We're moving on. It's hard to be around families where there are these uh, lengthy ties that hold kids to former forgiven sins and failures. Don't go there. Don't, don't go there. Just as the Lord forgave you and just as your parents forgave you and let you go. By the way, I didn't finish my story. Speaking of that, my dad, he came to me about uh, 4.30 that afternoon. He said, uh, good work, son. I want to take you to dinner tonight since it's your birthday. And he reached down, he put his arm around me, and he told me he loved me. That's the last spanking I ever got from my daddy. He did it right. He never once, ever again. I've told this story all over. People have laughed at me all over the country as I tell this story, but it's never come from my father's lips. Of course, he's gone now. One of those things I loved about him, when he forgave, he forgot. With his life, Jesus introduced grace, and it was a completely revolutionary concept. He showed mercy instead of condemnation, forgiveness instead of judgment, restoration in place of destruction. The world has never been the same since. Each one of us desperately needs God's grace, and the best part is, it's free. There's absolutely nothing you can do to earn it. All you have to do is accept it. When you embrace God's grace, your life will be transformed. You'll want to pass it along. Every time you forgive and forget an offense, accept others and allow them the freedom to be who they are, you're extending grace. The more grace you give, the more joyful your life. You'll find that grace really is amazing. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, same song, 11th verse. 
Hope Beyond Snakebite, was copyrighted in 2001, and this life track sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.